Lesson 9.3 is graphing data. So we are taking information, which we find at the top here, and we are using that information to put onto a graph. All right, so this is pretty basic um, and definitely something that you are going to be using a lot um, as you get into the upper uh, maths and definitely science. So I want you guys to be at least exposed to it a little bit. Um, so you're taking your two bits of information. So you have the hour, so hour one, hour three, hour five, hour seven, hour nine. So this data was collected over nine hours of time. Time is on your x-axis across the bottom here. Um, your other bit of information is the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. So the temperature taken over nine hours worth of time starting at 61 degrees, 65 degrees, 71 degrees, 75 degrees, and then 77 degrees. So you're just taking each of these bits of information and you're putting them onto a graph so that you can um, see any type of change or how this looks when it's all put together. So we're starting with hour one. So we're starting with hour one. We're just matching up the numbers on the X and the Y um, parts of your graph. So hour one is at 61 degrees. Now obviously we're not using an actual graph here because I'm on the whiteboard. Um, and you can make your graphs different amounts of time, different numbers to get it more exact. So this is going to be just an estimate. So 1 and 61. So just around that 60 mark. And we're just going to make a mark, a dot, to indicate that first set of numbers. Hour 3 is at 65. So obviously it's going to be a little bit higher than your first dot in between 60 and 70. Hour 5 is at 71. So just above your 70. And hour 7 is at 75, again, above that. And hour 9, 77, is just slightly above that last line there. So when you look at your numbers, you see that they're going up by little increments each time. So when you look at your graph, your lines should go up in little bits each time. And then a lot of times at the end, you just kind of connect them so that you can see the trend for the hours of the day and the time. So we're talking about temperature. We know that temperature does not continue to go up and up and up. It goes up and down depending on day and night, which is a whole different type of science. Um, so if we were making a chart and we were going beyond the nine hours, we would most likely get to that 12 hour mark and we would see the drop in temperature. So if we continue this over a 24 hour period, your graph would go up into a highest point of temperature and then it would start to come back down again to go down to that low temperature for the 24 hours or one day. Um, so depending on what you're studying here, um, your graph can look many different ways. So that's basically it. You're taking your two numbers that line up, two sets, and you're adding them on to your graph.